What's up? What's up, Dusty? Looking good, looking good. Oof. Just love the way this car looks, bro. I'm so proud of what I did. And I have no idea what I'm going to be doing next in the future. But I just know. I just know it's going to be great. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's so many dragonflies. Like, I'm trying to show y'all. I don't know if y'all. There you go. There you go. Bro, so many of them just flying around. It has to be about 20 of these dragonflies just flying around right now. It's kind of creeping me out. But here it was Poppin' Playboys. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, man, we're going to be changing something that's very small in the car, but makes a huge difference when you look at it. We're about a half inch behind. Correction, a half inch ahead for the year. And one and 53 hundredths behind for the, for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit. All right, so these are the parts that you're going to need to put your molding trims on. Um, I'm going to put all the part numbers right here. So you guys can get a picture of it if you like. Each one has its own part number. Make sure you guys screenshot it or write it down or something. But yeah, man, we can finally get these bad boys on the car. Because the ones I have on the car right now are disgusting. So I'm just going to open everything up because I don't know exactly which one is which. Where's my blade? Oh, don't have my blade. Uh, I'll just use my fingers. Actually, let me use the blade. But uh, yeah, they, uh, Honda doesn't mark it like left, left, right, or anything like that. They just mark it with part numbers. So um, I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out which one is which. All right, guys. So let's get it started. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I'm gonna be yelling a little bit because uh, it's kind of, kind of uh, noisy like at this time right now. But uh, basically, what you're gonna do? All you need to install these parts is basically a screwdriver and a flathead. Um, what you're gonna do, hopefully you guys can see this, where your control panel is for all like your window switches and your lock. You're gonna insert your flathead on the top of it, where where your uh, your left and right mirror switches are. And you see like a little slit. You're gonna stick your flathead inside and just pry up. Just like that. Boom, like that. Once you do that, um, you're just gonna disconnect the wires. So it took a little fighting and a little tugging, but uh, it's easy to get out once you, you know, get a good grip on it. Uh, you're going to put this to the side. Make sure you don't mess nothing of that up because then you're not going to have no features to your door. Um, next is going to be a, a, what's it called? A screwdriver. You're going to need a screwdriver, of course. This is going to be a screw that you take out. That's right. You'll see it once you pull off the, the what's it called? The console part of your door. You'll see it. You're going to take that screw out because that screw is holding your door your door panel in and uh yeah it's not it's not really hard to take out it's just a simple screw don't lose it though because just don't lose it next after you do that basically you want to grab under your door and just do that one time the other side and just hit up and then boom man there you go your door's off well, your door panels off. I'm gonna go place this somewhere that won't get dirty. So be right back. So now I say this is the easy part. It probably probably not the easy part for you guys, but um, next thing you're gonna do is you see these clips, those blue clips, the same ones that are on that one. Um, what you're gonna have to do is just pry it off, or you could break them. Whatever you wanna do, uh, just be careful because you don't want to damage your door. But uh, hopefully I can give you guys an angle of me taking it off. It's like real simple. It's really, really simple. Oh, there we go. And there goes one. Uh, some clips are gonna break when you do it, so don't be scared that you break them. And uh, now you guys can see the difference between them. Like, look at that. Dang, you guys can't really see that. Oh, damn. Uh, all right, look at that. Hopefully, you guys can see the difference. Yeah, man, this looks way better. And now the process of putting it back on is basically the same thing of taking it off. It's really easy 
Just make sure, oh, dang, I should clean that up, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so when you guys take this off, make sure you guys clean underneath it because that is a whole bunch of just junk and stuff. So I'm going to wipe that off real quick and then put this bad boy on. All right, now, you guys, this should be the easy part now. Um, Just sliding it on. So I'm guessing it goes like that, correct? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so we'll slide that on like that. It's gonna take a little finagling, finagling, finagling. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. It's gonna take a little, just you know, playing with it. Pause. Ow, my finger. My poor dang finger. Ooh, there we go. Sure, everything's fine. Ooh, this is not fine right here. This is not fine right here. Make sure you guys push down on it so you hear it clips. I think we're good. I think we're good. It looks really damn good, bro. Sheesh. Look how good that looks, you guys. I'm telling you, the small little things makes the biggest change. Looks like a brand new car again. Sheesh. That looks good. Compared to this one too, look look at that. That, compared to this. I'm telling you, boy, I'm telling you. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is just put everything back. Basically the same process as taking everything off, of course. Um. What you want to make sure you guys do is that these green clips, these right here, you want to make sure you don't pop them off. I'm already missing one because I uh, I basically popped it off when I took off this door panel. Not in this video, but like the other times I took off this door panel. And uh, yeah, make sure you wire everything good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really easy to put it back on. Uh, I'm just going to line this back up on top like that. Should fall in pretty easy. Hit it down or press it down, don't really hit it. Make sure you wire your wires through. Then you can start, start hitting the door. All right, put your screw back in. Same screw that you took out. Attach all your cables back. Some thick old cables, boy. And slide back your, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but slide it back in. Just like that. All right, guys. So we're gonna be doing the back now. The back should be fairly simple as well. Um, I believe all I have to do is just pop this off. Oh wait, let me take off this first. So yeah, uh, basically what you have to do for this is just pop this off with a flathead, and then it's gonna be a screw like the you know driver's side. Every door has a screw. Uh, I'm just gonna remove the screw and then should pop it off. It should be it. I don't think I have to remove anything behind this. I think if I remove this, this takes off the door handle. So yeah, I think so. It sounds about right. So yeah, it should be fairly simple. Let's do it. Well, there goes this. And the process of removing this is the same as the front. Um, basically just pry off. Yeah, 
be careful with your window. Oh wait, you have to take this off. I forgot. There's one more step that you guys have to do. So right here on the door, there's another screw that you have to take off that I completely forgot about. It is right there, hidden. And uh, once you take that off, you should be able to remove the, the molding. Don't lose this because then you won't be able to put back the molding. All right guys, so now that piece is off, this should be simple to come off now. So just slide back. Slide back and you should be able to just lift up kind of. I'm going this side to get a better look. There we go. That took a lot of strength. Like I said, don't don't be worried if you break the clips. They are gonna break. Uh, that's definitely trash. Now I'm just gonna clean this up and put the new ones back in. Now time to put this one in. And should be A-OK -okay after that, boy. Man, these look so good. All right, guys, so we're done with the driver's side. It looks so dang good. Way better than what it looked like before. This looks so dang better than the last one. It was trash, bro. Look at that. This one is like disgusting. This looks so much better. It's crazy what the small little things in your car could do. Sheesh. Now I'm starting the passenger side. I'm not gonna record that process because it's basically the same thing. Um, I might do a little time lapse or I might not. But well, yeah, man. <sighs> Bro, the small things do so much to your car. It's crazy. hot all the time even in winter bro it makes no sense but i can't wait till one day i have my own warehouse where i could put everything have dusty inside my utilities everything ac all that and don't have to worry about florida heat but yeah man everything's on dusty i got the moldings on they look amazing look at that sheesh it looks so good way better than what the old ones look like i believe the old ones never been changed i bought this car with like 49,000 miles and the old ones already looked like they was you know giving up on me if you go if you guys go look at my old videos you could kind of see them but yeah um i'm at 80,000 now and you guys see how bad they look so yeah you could tell that florida heat is something crazy to just you know mess it up that bad but shoot it looks good now if you guys know a way for me to keep them looking this way like for like i don't know 100,000 more miles or you know 50,000 more miles not 50 but 50,000 Ah, my tongue is getting tied. Like 50,000 more miles to so let me know down below. I was thinking about ceramic coating them, but I don't know if that's going to mess them up. So I, I'm just going to leave it alone and just, you know, spray some uh, some uh, detail wax on it. And hopefully that keeps it looking new, I guess. But yeah, man, they look so dang good. Whew. You guys need to go get this for your Honda. Don't matter what Honda you have. I know your Honda has some beat up looking ones like mine. Go get them because... Sheesh, they made the car look so much better. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the little cinematics. I feel like I say that every video. I need I need to change it up, but hope you enjoyed those little clips I filmed. Dusty looks freaking brand new again. Well, slightly. Um, I got a little more things to touch up on the car to make the car look freaking crazy and just perfect all around 
and uh, that's taking out these two dents. You guys probably don't see it in videos, but they're like right there. Uh, there goes one, and then the other one's on this side. Um, those dents been on the car since I bought it, and I just never had like, you know, well, not the time, but I never really found somebody who's good enough to remove them without, you know, leaving like the metal being looking rippled or something like that. That's what they call it. But yeah, man. I'm going to find somebody to remove those and those other two I've just seen right now. Just just the whole driver's side has dents. But, you know, little door dings. Also, if you guys haven't been updated, I am selling some merch. If you guys want to go buy some, I'll leave the link down below. It's zuviapiro.bigcartel.com. I'm selling hoodies, shirts, warm breakers, t-shirts. I already said that, didn't I? Um, stickers and air fresheners. So if you guys are interested, go check it out. Support the channel. Support Dusty. And yeah, man, I appreciate it. But all right, you guys, this is where I'm going to end off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And boys out. Peace.